next uh, performers appeared on uh, Conan O'Brien. Uh, he was uh, Georgie on The Sopranos. How about we have a nice round of applause, Mr. Frank Santarelli, everybody. Frank Santarelli. Frankie was Georgie on The Sopranos. Uh, he was on numerous episodes there. Can't he really got, talk about it. No, no. He, got whacked with a, he got whacked with a Billy the Bass fish. I saw it in Rite Aid. They were selling them. What? What did you say? Oh. That's right, one of those singing fish, a bucket of ice, a cash register drawer, <laughs> all kinds of different ways. Blood all over the place. But you were it was also, great. You were also in another TV uh, show uh, that not a lot of people know about, it, but it, uh, it, was, it was kind of a cult classic. Uh, the Providence? Yeah, Providence? Providence with uh, Melina Conacaridis, yeah. Spin City with Michael J. Fox, uh, Las Vegas with James Conn. I'm all over the place. Yeah, he's been all I'm a major over star. <laughs> and now I'm, on, I'm in Saugus. So I'm Frank Santarelli. I grew up in an Italian family, kind of strange. My mother taught me how to shave. <laughs> I'm trying to cut down on fat. So now when I eat haagen you know those pints? You take the top off, the ice cream is stuck to the lid. Toss that. <laughs> gotta be 60 calories right there. Sometimes you gotta push yourself away. Show some discipline. That's how you get into maximum physical condition. <coughs> Stop drinking for a while, just to see what would happen. Because I wound up on the bathroom floor one too many times, you know how that is, right? Right? I'm laying there, open my eyes, I see the bathroom scale. So I weighed my head. 22 pounds. <laughs> My head weighs 22 pounds. I'm very depressed about it. I'm a fathead. And you know when you're a fathead, if you don't order alcohol, you get the big crazy straw. It's hard to be tough or cool when you got the big crazy straw. Could you see me if I got into a fight? It'd be like, hey, listen, buddy. I'll kick your ass all over this bar. You mess with me, pal. I'm the last guy in the world you want to mess with. I travel, I'm a comedian. Last week I was at the Pittsburgh Funny Bone because my career's on fire. <laughs> and there was a waitress there, she was working there. I noticed her, she was a lot older than the other waitresses, but I gotta tell you something, she was like this. Arthritis in both hands. <laughs> this is my impression of a guy, it's two o'clock in the morning, the bar's closing, the lights come on. They're trying to get everybody out of the place. You always see one guy. <laughs> you've seen this guy. His buddy goes, Joe, you want another beer or what? And he goes, a little too real for some of you? Is that what's happening? Because all the women are leaving, he's hanging out by the exit door. As they're going out the door, he's going, where are you going? You're not taking off, are you? One time I got picked up by a Winnebago filled with 12 drunk guys going to a football game. A moving Super Bowl party picked me up. They pull over, the doors open up, and this guy gets out going, <laughs> Do you believe we picked you up? We just picked your ass right up. Thanks a lot, folks. Up next on Dirty Water TV's Wicked Funny Comedy Tour, sponsored by Magnus Irish Cider, comedic legend Lenny Clark. I love that. I was Irish, she was Jewish. I figure if we have kids, they'll drink a lot, but they'll buy it like a wholesale, you know? <laughs> That's when Dirty Water TV returns.